Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us today. It's, um, I'm going to take this pencil off of the piano. Uh, it's, um, it's beautiful to have you here. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited today because uh, I have a very special guest. Alex Hargraves is a young violinist. And um, I heard him just um, a little over a week ago play in a, in a big show with, with uh, the great mandolin player, Chris Thiele. And they had a fantastic duet and, and Alex was uh, playing throughout the show and was just so impressive. And um, I learned after the show when we were all hanging out that uh, he's actually a serious, serious jazz nerd. And in fact, studied with uh, my teacher, Danilo Perez. So uh, right away, I asked him if he wanted to come on the show, and um, I'm going to um, bring him on right now. He's actually right over there in, <laughs> in my living room. Uh, please welcome Alex Hargraves. Hey, Alex. Hi, everyone. It's great to be here. Man. Thanks for having me, Dan. Great to have you here, Alex. Yeah. Um, so we have a little tradition on the show, which is... Uh, to say hi to everybody, we have um, we have Manuel, uh, Frank, Geyer, we have Grace Chu, um, Marila Reese, who's in Tucson, Arizona, in a car with iffy reception. Right. Jen Detour in Paris, Frank Geyer, um, Mark, uh, sorry, George Thomas Wilson, um, who's back home. Lori Wilson in Santa Barbara, Mathilde Fisher in Amsterdam. Um, and yeah, Frank Geyer uh, said he was going to come to my show yesterday at, uh, at Barge Music in Brooklyn and came down with a bad cold. Well, I hope you get well quick. Catherine Marcia Bisson, who's in Paris. Silvano Raffo, who's our, uh, you don't know Silvano, but he's our resident um, um, artist. He, he draws every live stream. He oh, makes makes a, cool. like an improvised drawing, uh, and nice. he's been going now for this is like live stream number seventy seven, and um, he's been going for I don't know probably seventy <laughs> live streams <laughs> or something crazy like that. Um, Joyce Glasgow, um, and who asked was that was that Alex uh, playing with the town hall crew at Bryant Park the other night? It was that was that was Alex at Bryant Park, and that was the concert that I was just mentioning which was a beautiful concert, by the way. Also featured uh, two of my dear friends and collaborators, Cecile McLaurin Salvant and Becca Stevens, uh, as well as my friend Timo Andrus, who's an amazing classical composer and pianist, and uh, also Zakir Hussein, <laughs> who was just unbelievable. Uh, it was a pretty special concert. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi to Molly Shen and Isa Rinardi, who's in Brussels. Um, Danielle Pralong. Paul James Brown, who's in Hawaii. Um, yeah, great to have you all with us. And uh, ooh, Fred Tepfer, who's my uncle. I'm not sure he's joined us before. He's in Eugene, Oregon. Hi, Fred. Hey, Fred. I know Fred from, you, from way back. You know Fred? Yeah. Oh, of course, because you're saying, yeah, you, you know my cousin Emma. Right. Yeah. The same violin teacher. That's incredible. Yeah. What a small world. Um, well, we should jump in and play some music. Uh, you know, that's, that's really what, what we're here for. So um, I think we're going to start with um, maybe a tune of mine. Um, sure. So one thing you don't know is that uh, some of these tunes that we've been looking at, they're actually all titled by uh, people watching the show. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so, so, you know, a lot of these titles, all of them pretty much, are by people that I've just welcomed to the show. That's very cool. I was admiring the title. It's cool to hear. <laughs> yeah, there's some fun <laughs> ones. Um, maybe should we start with um, Silver Beam? Sure. Silver Beam, titled by Joyce Glasgow, our uh, poet in residence. Here we go. Silver Beam with Alex Hargraves.
Beautiful, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful to hear you play it. I, I was just telling Alex um, earlier that I haven't really played these songs much with uh, with musicians who 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 play you know who, who are playing melodic instruments. It's mo mainly been with bassists and drummers uh, where I'm playing the melody. So it's pretty fun to hear uh, Alex evoke these melodies. I mean, because it, it really takes. You got to kind of inhabit them, you know. Mm. Beautiful, man. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Joyce Glasgow says, silver beam, a stream of notes, bow over strings, rosin, vibrations, contrasts of strings and mallets, the space in between, connecting the sounds together invisibly, magically, chamber intimacy, sweet, warm violin and bold piano sounds, kind sounds, leading one into a faraway, very pleasant and peaceful dream. And Laurie Wilson says, woohoo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and my, my uh, other uncle on my mom's side, Chris Ruff, is, is with us too. Hi, Chris. And uh, Jonathan Glass, who's an amazing artist. Um, he actually drew a drawing I have right there of, uh, of Lee Konitz and, and me. Oh, cool. He's with us. Hi, Jonathan. Um, yeah. Let's, um, let's play something else. Got any ideas? Let's see. You want to do, uh, you want to try that uh, bounce in the bud? Yeah, let's do that. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Alex and I both studied with uh, the great pianist Danilo Perez uh, up in Boston. I studied with Danilo at the New England Conservatory, and um, Alex studied with him at, um, at Berkeley, at Berkeley, right? Yeah. Um, and one thing that I know Danilo does with pretty much all of his students is he gets them to play this tune. Uh, this is a composition by Bud Powell called uh, Bouncing with Bud. A real bebop tune, something you don't hear on violin very often. Around there. One, two. One, two, three. Thank you. 
That's, that's such a such a fun tune you know bud powell i think he's such a master of like um how should i put it he has such, he had such a strong voice you know his piano sound the just the the vibe that he brought to the music was so strong yeah. that it can be easy to forget what a master of harmony he was mm-hmm. he's incredibly organized right. in his compositions yeah you know like the way that that tune actually really tonicizes the six, mm, when it goes right. to the G minor, not yeah. not on the bridge. I mean, actually, in in the A section, is really surprising. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's not that. not common at all in these kinds of tunes. It's a real kind of like small modulation happening within the A section, and uh, right. I mean, he really he really was like a master of tonal harmony. That's that's how he was able to get away with those like really stark sounds, like you know, like just doing that in his right. left hand is because the underlying structure is, is so so deep actually you know yeah yeah man. yeah man great to play with you uh, alphonse petit boudou says absolument délicieux merci de paris monsieur which means absolutely delicious thank you from paris All right. misters thank you um and frank geyer says it was george gershwin's birthday yesterday how about some Gershwin? Wow, what an idea! Uh, some <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think? Yeah, let's, let's do it. What, what do you want to do? Uh, how about how about someone to watch over me? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In honor of George Gershwin, um, I, I grew up playing a lot of Gershwin songs with my mom. Those were the the first. The first songs that I played, uh, the first jazz standards I played uh, when I was like seven, eight years old were songs that my mom taught me. And uh, George Gershwin was, was a big part of that. Here we go. Someone to watch over, over me. Uh, you got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Thank you.
Beautiful, man. Yeah. Likewise. Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous playing. Man, I just love that tune. It's kind of like a perfect song. It really is. The lyrics are a little bit old fashioned <laughs> at this point. That, that sometimes happens with those. Yeah. <laughs> but that one in particular, I mean, it's just like, it's really like in a, in a place of deep codependency, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but it is a just beautiful song. Uh, Paul James Brown says, sublime, every note, a gem of creation. Mm. This meter takes the song to a new con contemplative destination thank you paul it's true that you know the original is actually pretty fast you aware of that oh, that's right it's kind of like yeah. right. da, 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 da. and then the bridge actually you know makes more sense because like when you play it so like the bridge is so slow right right and some people sometimes sometimes people double time the, the bridge actually okay. because it's so slow yeah um but yeah, I think it, it works really nicely, slow like that. Yeah, absolutely. Hello to Robin Silver. I don't think I've seen... Hey, Mom. Is that your mom? Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, I don't think I've seen <laughs> Robin Silver here before. Oh, awesome. Hope you're proud of your son, Robin. I'm sure you are. Uh, and Fran Geyer says, I really needed this today. Great. And Xiao Xiao is uh, in a cafe in Barcelona. All right. Amazing. Yeah, got folks from all over. Isn't that amazing? It's incredible. I mean, I really, it, it blows my mind. I'm, I'm absolutely not blasé about that in the least. It just every time it's like, wow, we are actually sharing a moment together with people all over the world. Yeah. It's amazing. It's Joyce Glasgow writes, gentle heather swaying in a soft breeze on a mountaintop, all safe and easy. Relax all your troubles in that romantic sway, an affirmation of good tidings and someone to watch over me. Mm -hmm. Cradled safe. D, safely, without issue, without fear and vulnerability and s silence, protected by grace, protect protected by kindness and good spirits, free to be me, just like the nature of that swaying heather. It's like Joyce gets these, these visions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, speaking of which, um, I, think, um, I think it's Joyce's birthday <laughs> sometime, sometime really soon. Oh, is it? Yeah, uh, she, she wrote to me, uh, I think, earlier today. So, oh, cool. what do you say? Let's, Happy uh, birthday and uh, you pick the key. All right, how about uh, E flat? E flat. Where are you feeling it? What kind of, what kind of vibe? How about, um, how about like... Cool, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, three. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Joyce Glasgow. Um, and uh, Losi Pfeiffer. Hi to Losi. He says, Happy to a fellow Libra. When's your birthday, Losi? I would like to, to know that. I should know that. Um, Frank Iyer says, We all have birthdays, so this is for everyone. It's true. It's true. Everyone, everyone who has ever, has ever had a birthday. Um, let's play another tune of mine. Sure. How about, um, let's see. I'm trying to remember which ones we talked about. Um, late night geometry. Let's do late night geometry. Perfect. Okay. Late Night Geometry, titled by Silvano Cardin, our um, artist in residence. <laughs> um, and that's it. We're going to play it with uh, the great Alex Hargraves on violin.
Beautiful, Alex. Very yeah. cool tune, man. Thanks, yeah. man. I played the hell out of it. Thanks. Wow. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's it's interesting. You know, my my people who come regular to, regularly to um, to these live streams know that um, these compositions are are really pretty different from the ones that I've written on uh, the rest of my life. Like, I mm -hmm. tend to write really involved stuff with like a lot of different sections and uh -huh. just much more complicated compositions and. Because it was the pandemic, and because often I just you know needed something to play like at the last minute, right? Uh, with somebody that I wouldn't be able to rehearse much with, uh, I wrote like a bunch of simple short tunes, and it's it's really fun to have this book that you know we can just yeah yeah play together Absolutely. so easily. Hmm. Uh, I'm seeing some happy birthdays to to Losi Pfeiffer, uh, so it must have been wow September 25th. Amazing. Happy birthday, Losi. Um, should we do another quick happy birthday for Losi? Sure. What's the vibe this time? Let's see. How about... How about solo violin? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I want to hear it. <laughs> Oh man, that was awesome. That was super awesome. <laughs> happy birthday to Losi Pfeiffer. Yes, happy birthday. Danielle Prolong says, I'm amazed at how relaxed Alex is on his instrument. It's true. There's a beautiful rela relaxation there. Maybe it's uh, a product of having played a lot of jazz because like, you kind of have to be relaxed. But then again, in right. bluegrass, there's also a beautiful relaxation to fiddlers, right? Absolutely. There's a yeah, whole tradition of beautiful bow arms mm -hmm. in, the, in the fiddle world that I'm always right. trying to kind of investigate and decode. Mm. You know, and I feel like that, that does seem to help with relating to rhythm in, in a jazz context too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like the rhythm in, in bluegrass is, is just so groove based as well. I mean, it's so yeah. intricate and it, there, there must be a, a, lot of, a lot of crossover there between the, oh, the there, two there worlds. Oh, there definitely is, you know. Yeah. And, by all the rhythms from New Orleans and, mm -hmm. and you know, African-American blues tradition and all that. So I feel like it actually has, in a lot of ways, it's, it was kind of a gateway for me getting into jazz. Mm. Man, that's so cool. Um, 
Jonathan Glass says, I haven't heard nines in a while. I think it would sound good with violin. Yeah, that's actually a really good idea. Unfortunately, I don't have a chart here for, for Alex. Um, well, I could bring it up on my iPad, actually. <laughs> but uh, Freda Tepfer says, that was great. And uh, Jen Detour says, no other words but yowza. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, let's play some more music. Um, Fred Teffer says, some of us noticed Alex's relaxed style when he was six years old. <laughs> <laughs> Love that's it. Funny. Man, that's amazing. I didn't, I didn't feel too right. I mean, I, I see videos of myself playing back then. And see, it seemed pretty tense to me. Oh, yeah. I'm happy to, to hear that, Fred. Thank you. <laughs> that classic little little kid playing the violin yeah, stance. Yeah, like, like contorted face. And like, yeah. <laughs> it's like rock, rock hard arm. That's, that's what it's <laughs> like <to me>. <laughs> <laughs> It's all relative, man. Okay. Um, how about how about how about um, how about where do we go from here? Sure. This is uh, another one of the songs I wrote during the pandemic, and uh, I thought this would sound particularly nice um, with violin. This was titled by Mark Hilliard Wilson, and it's called "Where Do We Go From Here." Thank you. 
Beautiful, man. Yeah, man, that was really gorgeous playing. Thank you. Thanks for playing that song. Great, another great tune. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Ah, this is so fun. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm not getting any comments anymore. Oh, maybe I am. Uh, yeah, I am. I think the comment app froze for a second. Joyce Glasgow writes, where do we go from here? Anywhere we please on this whirling sphere of green and blue and white clouds from seas to forests and fields, verdant hills and valleys down strange and wondrous unknown paths like nomads ever moving, ever exploring life's precious adventure of sights, sounds, tastes, smells, tactile textures to feel, exploring imagination from the inner depths of soul to nature's outer majesty. Catherine Marchabisson says, hot damn fire. <laughs> I like the contrast between those two yes. comments. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> From the sacred to the profane. Yeah. I was going to say, Dan, I feel like you get probably the most poetic comments I've ever seen on a live stream. Yeah, it's kind of special, else. isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, apparently somebody already wrote a song called Where Do We Go From Here? Charles Bradley. I don't even know who that is. Do you know who that is? I don't know. Um, well, you guys, this is so fun. Um, let's see. Should we play another Gershwin song? Sure. Um, yeah. How about how about I got rhythm? Sure. This is a um, a song that is archetypal in jazz because um, what we call rhythm changes, which is a particular kind of um, Harmonic progression has become ubiquitous in jazz. It's the backbone of many, many classic jazz compositions. Um, and uh, it all comes from this song by George Gershwin called I've Got Rhythm. And uh, we're gonna play it straight for you tonight. I Got Rhythm by, Char by George Gershwin with uh, Alex Hargraves.
Man, super fun. It's fun. Yeah. I got rhythm by George Gershwin. Molly Shen says, you guys have harmonics as well as rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So did George Gershwin, actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, G Janina da David Inescu says, I'm a big fan somewhere, but I am. Eric Fontaine says, this is the most out version of I've Got Rhythm I've ever heard. Man, I don't know. It can get a lot more out than that. <laughs> it's just the tip of the iceberg. That's definitely just the tip of the iceberg, yeah. Um, Cameron Ahrens, um, who's in Chicago, I believe, says, so fun and lovely. Thanks, Cameron. Thank you. Woo! Um, well, it's... 3.15, time always flies, man. It really does. It's incredible. Yeah. Uh, Joyce Glasgow requests, I loves you, Porgy, but <clears throat> I think that'll be for another time, right? I don't know if I can do that one justice, but... How about, um, let's see, what have we talked about? What's, what's one of your favorite ballads uh, for, for a jazz standard? Man, I mean, I always love Stardust. Stardust. Yeah, I haven't played that in, in too long, unfortunately. How about another one? Body and Soul, Darn That Dream. Oh, all those are great. Those are the, the Lee Konitz classics, man. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I ever played a gig with Lee where we, did, where we didn't play both of those songs. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, those are some big shoes to fill. <laughs> another one. <laughs> no, let's do it. That's great. Um, which which one of the two? Um, Why do you darn that dream? Yeah, great. Jen Dutour actually just just requested during that dream. Oh great! So let's do it. Darn that dream with Alex Hargraves. <clears throat>
really fun I, I feel like yeah. there's um there's like um there's a there's a really nice connection between between us like rhythmically that allows us to you know take take some alternate pathways 
at least for me, accompanying yeah. you, you know, um, well, I, delaying. Like, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure playing with you. Like, in this context, it's really cool getting to just, I felt that freedom in rhythm, but also felt your support too. So. Yeah, yeah, it's always a dance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so fun. Uh, Molly Shen says, you two have a great way of playing together. Really enjoyed this. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Uh, all right, well, it's almost 3.30, and I think uh, we should play our last song. Uh, Mandy Longua says, oh my, oh, my God, finding you playing live here is the only bonus of not being able to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for more soulful beauty. Well, you know, why don't you stay up another uh, five or six minutes with us, and we'll play <laughs> one last song for you. Uh, I think we're going to finish with a song of mine. This is, um, this is called... Um, what is it called? Um, she told me it's all good. This was titled by Molly Shen, who's with us today. Uh, this is always a, a fun one to play, and this this will be my first time playing it with somebody else playing the melody. All right. So, looking forward to this. She told me it's all good with the great. Alex Hargraves on violin. Uh, if you have any questions for uh, for Alex, uh, just drop in the, drop them in the comments while we're playing, and uh, this will be our last song for today. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, Alex. Man, that was killing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ooh. That was fun. I think my, my favorite part was just jamming out on F major. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Vida Vakil says, you two are brilliant together. Thanks so much. Thank um, and Frank Geyer says, I am deaf sending a tip for this. Just t- got to figure out the place. If anybody wants to send a tip, um, which we very much appreciate, uh, there are basically two ways that I support this, this free Monday live stream series. It's, uh, one is through uh, my Patreon uh, account, which, um, which has a bunch of supporters. Uh, you, you, can, you can support for five bucks a month. And uh, that's really kind of the, the basis of how I keep these going. And the other is if you just feel like giving a one-time tip, um, we appreciate that very much. And let's see, I'm going to put up, there you go. There's a link to um, a place where you can go to donate on any platform you want. <clears throat> danteffercom slash donate. Um, it's been an absolute joy playing with Alex Hargraves. Please check out his work. Uh, it's spelled um, Hargreaves, or like that's what, how you would think that it's pronounced if you right. saw it spelled. It's uh, H-A-R-G-R-E-A-V-E-S. And... Um, just an amazing artist. I'm so glad that we could play together today. And likewise, Dan, thanks so much for having me. It's a real pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. We'll have to do it again. Um, thanks to all of you for being with us. Thanks for your um, generous and uh, creative comments. Uh, Mark Mitchell asked, what was that last piece? It's uh, one of my compositions. It's called She Told Me It's All Good, and Molly Shen found that title. Uh, Joyce Glasgow says, you have both really uplifted my spirits today. For that, I am very grateful. Thank you for the birthday song. Music is the healing balm. It does help, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's nice is it helps us, too. It's not, it helps the <laughs> listeners and the performers. Right. Win-win. Yeah, it really is. All right, thanks to you all. Uh, oh, George Mayer is with us. Meyer, I mean. Hey, George. Well, I, George uh, Meyer was, was just um, was in the string quartet, the Semplice players that I played with at Barge Music the last two days, uh, literally Saturday and Sunday, yesterday and the day before. We played uh, Mozart's Concerto number 14 together, and we also played my piece Solar Spiral for Piano Quintet. And we also did this thing, kind of crazy thing, where I, I wrote a program that allowed me to send notation in real time to the players in the string quartet. So they would literally get notes on their uh, iPads when I played them on a, on a controller keyboard on my piano. And man, they really killed it. They, they did such a great job. Um, Molly Shen asks how it went. And honestly, it was really, really fun. Uh, it was two days of, of just... Um, challenging and really rewarding music. So that's what I look for. Uh, and Freda Tepfer asks, how were the waves on the barge? Um, Saturday was pretty calm and Sunday was pretty wavy. <laughs> I was sitting there playing the piano and feeling like, is this, am I freaking out because I'm playing Mozart and I'm scared? Or is the barge just moving around a lot? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a little bit of both. But yeah, definitely a lot of waves. Okay, thanks to you all. Thanks to Alex. And uh, I'll see you next week, next, um, next Monday, 2 p.m. Take care in the meantime. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.